Hi everybody, this is Jason McConnell, and in this video we're going to cover how to crop images using Illustrator. Now, the best way to probably crop an image is to bring it into Photoshop and crop it, but if you find yourself in a position where you don't have Photoshop, or you'd rather just stay in Illustrator, then this is definitely a good tip to know. So we have our image here, and I'd like to keep the right side of the image with the girls in the bag, and just get rid of all the pixels on the left side with this other girl. All you have to do is take the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle around the part of your image that you want. And it doesn't matter if there's a fill or if it's transparent, I'll just make it transparent so you can see below. And then next, take your selection tool and select the box that you just made and the image. Then go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Now this just makes a mask. The, uh, the original image is still there, all the pixels are still there. If I went to View Outline, you'd see that the original image is still there in the background. So the next step to crop out all those extra pixels behind the mask is to go to Object, Flatten Transparency. Now the key in here is to set your rasters all the way to the left so it's set to zero. Choose a resolution for your image. This started out at 300 pixels per inch. I'm just going to shrink it down to 72 pixels per inch. There's no transparency or spot color, so I uncheck these. And then you can click on Preview to get an idea of what the final image will look like. You'll notice on the left side and the right side, there's going to be a few extra pixels here, which it's pretty close. We're not going to worry about it too much. And then when you're ready, just hit OK. And then as you'll see, this image right here is just by itself. If you go to Outline, you'll see that just this side of the image is left. We got rid of all the extra pixels behind the mask on the other side. And that's how you crop an Illustrator. Again, it's not perfect. You're not always going to crop exactly to that rectangle that you put on top. But it's a good tip to know, especially if you only have Illustrator and you don't have Photoshop. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.